Physics is a fascinating and challenging subject that encompasses discovering the smallest particles that make up the atoms in the universe to the forces and laws that control the universe itself. Physics courses are offered at most universities. An A-level physics qualification also allows access to many undergraduate engineering courses such as mechanical, civil, electrical and electronic engineering. Students interested in medical applications can study medical physics, which studies the use of ultrasound, x-rays and other ionising radiations in imaging, diagnosis and treatment. Physics is also a useful qualification in accessing computing, finance and business courses. A-level physics builds on the topics that are covered at GCSE, such as forces and motion, electricity and waves and properties of solids. Gravitational, electrical and magnetic fields are studied in Year 13, along with thermal physics. The course also covers aspects of quantum and particle physics. In the option topic covered at the end of the course, students have an opportunity to learn about the key turning points in physics, such as the discovery of the electron, wave-particle duality and special relativity. Practical work is an important aspect of physics, both in demonstrating physics concepts and in developing investigative analysing skills. Twelve required practicals are covered in the course and these are assessed in the final exams. But there are many more opportunities for carrying out practical work that give students hands-on experience of using practical equipment and investigating the concepts they're studying. In order to access the A-level physics course, students will need good GCSE science qualifications, either a minimum of two grade sixes for combined science or grade six in physics if studying triple science. It's also important that students are sound mathematicians, so they would require at least a grade six in GCSE maths. And it's an advantage, though not essential, to study maths at A-level. I really enjoyed the physics element of my GCSE, so I wanted to continue studying at A-level. I really enjoy solving problems and the mathematical element of the subject is great for this. I am more confident in applying my skills to practical applications and I know that this will continue to improve even more. I hope to be able to continue beyond sixth form and apply my skills and knowledge at university or a degree apprenticeship in engineering.